The set was absolutely incredible. It took about, I would guess, about three, four weeks to build. Um, there were people there who, you know, give them credit because nobody knew how long it took and how much work went into making that, that set. Um, even the tents had to be painted and, and built and the corral built. There was so much work involved. Even moving stuff was difficult. I think people would be really surprised if they knew what budget we had to actually build that set and what it took to put that together. The set was fabulous. I thought, me personally, how they turned it out and for the period never that it was in, I thought it was fantastic. If people see the location, they, wouldn't have, they would have thought that was in time. The set was uh, very well planned out. Um, we had a corral for, for livestock, we had chickens, we had a fighting arena. Yeah, it all looked part of uh, the medieval time. I couldn't believe on the budget available that somebody could actually reproduce that. It was absolutely superb, and it was a little time capsule. The set was um, literally held together with chewing gum and string most of the time. We would build it and then come back a couple of days later, and there'd have been a wind or there would have been rain or whatever, and it would have all, a all the ropes would have slackened off and we had to, to re-tighten them and rebuild some of the stuff. Um, uh, and Michael was just brilliant at that because every time we went in and we'd say, oh, this has come apart and that's come apart, you would just put it all back together again. I nearly couldn't swear that I didn't jute about 14 miles of it, wrapped round trees and branches. Um, yeah, quite a lot of jute. The corral, mostly jute. Um, holding up the tents, mostly jute. Yeah, I don't know where he got all the jute from. He actually got me a present for my birthday, jute. A roll of jute. What would you give somebody that for? Oh, happy birthday. Roll of jute. <laughs>